We have to fight for the right to be different, to follow our conscience. Why is government even in the marriage business? Why are they in the parent business? I don't want them in my bedroom. I don't want them at a yard sale. I don't want them at my kid's lemonade stand or my living room or my kitchen. They shouldn't be in my marriage business, but they've done it now. And now they're picking and choosing winners and losers, not only in marriage, but in business, everything. It's only about control. They are trying to control what relationships you are allowed and not allowed to engage in. Meanwhile, they are putting all the structure in so they can watch every relationship. When government has that kind of control over a decision that should be made by you, we all lose. Even the ones making the decision, they lose too. When the collective conscience trumps individual conscience, we are in trouble. Trouble, like crowds of people cheering at the demise of traditional marriage. I think of the letter that came from Ben Franklin to Thomas Paine when he says, I'm, I'm an atheist, God doesn't exist. How dare you? That was Ben Franklin's response. How dare you? You are reaping all of the benefits from these people who have been listening to God. You don't have to agree with them. Look at the benefit of this society. And now you say it's nothing. How dare you? Get the state out of my bedroom. Get the state out of my classroom. Get the state out of my hospital room. Get out of my life. 86,497 days later. I got news for you. It's still about freedom. It's still about freedom. However, we're now entering the time when we're not celebrating its acquisition. We are now defending it from extinction. And it's amazing because the same kind of powers that seek control today are the same powers that the founders fled from in the first place.